Hello everybody. Yeah, so today just got a shipment in and uh, this is from Crimson Lotus. I got the uh, the Bing Slayer. So apparently this thing's supposed to be really good at breaking into uh, iron cakes and stuff like that. So we're going to test it out. We're going to see its efficiency. See if maybe you should buy this or not. Uh, see if it's any better than uh, a regular tea pick. So this is uh, one that I got from Yunnan Sourcing. I don't think they even have picks on their site anymore at the moment. Something to do with China Post not wanting to ship them from them or something. So you can see a different design on the tip. It's rounded like a point, but then it's flattened. Right? It looks like a flathead screwdriver almost, but with a point on the end. So uh, that's that. That's that T-pick. Now this one, it's pointed on the, it's kind of like square, but it's completely flat on the other side. So I'm assuming that's that's supposed to be good for digging in. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started here. At first, I got the uh, 88 round uh, iron cake. Um, actually, I have a video steaming this one. That's probably the best way to do an iron cake. You throw it in a steamer and you just steam the whole freaking cake. You don't have to worry about it, especially if you're going to drink it every day. Um, or keep it in your storage. You just don't ever touch it ever again because it's too hard to get into. Do that maybe it'll taste really good tastes pretty good now so um let's start with the two cha so this is a brand new two cha i haven't gotten into it yet um the, I, uh, I haven't even sampled this one yet so um yeah i'm not actually gonna drink any teas in this video i'm just gonna break into a couple so let's see what we got here looks like a nice solid two cha so one side, let's try and break into it with the... Oh! I wasn't expecting that to go in so easy. Maybe that one's a lot less harder. Okay, so I'm breaking into that not too bad. So I'm yeah taking chunks right off of that. Uh, let's go with the Bing Slayer anyways. So I don't know if we can... There's a way that I can... Anyways, here. Let's just... Oh wow. Okay. I don't know if I can flip that around some way. Hmm. I can't even flip the, flip the camera around. Okay, let's see if I can just put it. <laughs> That's not gonna work. So uh yeah, I definitely need a better way of filming. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm breaking into this really easy with the with the Bing Slayer. It's going on kind of an angle like that. That's breaking it pretty easy. But same with this one. This one is not too bad. I don't think the compression on this Tuocha. This is the 2000. Oh yeah, well, I'm having to put a lot more force. But then again, it's still not that difficult. So I'm not going to break this up too much. I like having whole whole things to kind of break into. So let's put that away. I'm going to dump all that back. Now the one I remember having issues with was the Dream of the Red Chamber. Maybe that one's a little bit, uh, a little bit harder to break. Let's we'll wrap all that up here. I had to tilt my camera a little bit, so I'm having a hard time looking at my face. I don't know if it's even important to look at my face. Main thing, we want to test this uh, this Bing Slayer pick. Okay, we'll put that back anyways. This is the 2012 Shiguan Jia G2O. Jia so, I still have yet to do a review on this one in the future. Okay, this is the, this is the Dali tool. I've never broken into this one either. So I still need to do a review on this one. I haven't done so yet. Mm, that one's got a really nice smell. This is 2006. Mmm. Smells like 2006. Huh. Put that on my nice little tray here. Get a bit closer so you can see. Okay. Let's go with this one first. 
Let's just do it. Okay, that's not too bad. Broke off a nice chunk there. And I'm just doing, I'm trying to show you guys, so I'm not putting the like, most pressure on there. Um, I would I would generally have it a lot closer to me, and I would be doing it more controlled. But I'm kind of doing it away from me. It's a little bit more difficult to put more pressure, so that was fairly easy to do. So we're going to go in with the Bing Slayer here. I'm actually going a lot deeper this time. So that was a lot easier. No, pretty much no, um, no, uh, effort at all to get into that. So that was surprising. It's a lot easier I'm finding with this Bing Slayer pick. Maybe it's just the shape. Um, I know they had something similar to that on, uh, the, what was it, the Yunnan Sourcing website? And, uh, probably around the same price. It doesn't look like this though, it's not the same colors. There's a shiny silver on the end and it has like a, a wooden handle for sure. It's like, it's a completely different material. So the one on Union Sourcing, oh and it has the, the Crimson Lotus. Um, see if I can. That didn't work. <laughs> I was trying to focus it. But yeah, I just got the Crimson Lotus uh, uh, logo on there. So that worked pretty good. I don't want to break it up too bad. So I got the, coming up next, we'll do the, uh, seems to go through those Tochas pretty good. I had a lot of trouble my first time opening one because, uh, that was my first time, and I was trying to go on from, from the bottom. I think the, the bottom is really com tight compression. So, like I said before, if you're going to break up something completely, you might as well just go and uh, steam it. So this is what I did with my, my seven-year-old son. We took this cake. I took a big chunk of the cake, and I put it in a steamer. And that's like... As good as you're going to get. Not broken up at all. We were able to pull it apart without breaking it. So I got a good chunk of that already busted apart. I put that right into the folder. That's why I like those folders too though. You break off a little bit too much. You can put leftover in the folder. And then you wrap up your cake. And uh, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to dig into this. This is what's left of the iron cake. And this one's actually a good, good drinker, so I might actually just steam the whole thing, put it in my folder, and I might buy another one for long-term aging. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I might steam some of this for long-term aging. So let's just try on an angle, because that's what I tried last time with the other pick. Just kind of... Oh, wow. Hey, look at that. I'm barely using any pressure. It's just opening up. Sticking it in like right, right in the halfway point. I'm just sticking it in there and it's just popping right through. I'm not even doing that over the tray now, I should be. I hate cleaning shit off the table. Probably just sweep that dust up. But still, at the same time, it's breaking through a lot easier. Where's that other pick? Just the regular pick. It's breaking through a lot easier than this one. I totally just did that. I stabbed myself. I didn't even mean to do that. So I, 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 here, hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta deal with this.
So like I said, this was going through really easy. No pressure needed whatsoever. This I was having some issues with getting through it. I had to put a lot of force and I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing because I'm trying to film, film the video. So I'm trying to show you guys what's going on there. And as a result, I'm not paying attention, putting too much force. The whole thing just exploded and it went right through and I shoved my freaking thumb. Ow. Yeah, I'm bleeding. So that's the first time I ever stabbed myself. I'm not really happy about it. I feel kind of embarrassed since I just did this on uh, YouTube. But, uh, you know, I could edit it out, but what would be the fun in that? So, uh, yeah, this is a good pick. This is a good design. Uh, I know other companies make the same design. I know uh, United Sourcing has a pure brass one. But I like I like the, I like the design of this one. I like the, like the color and everything. It's got that red trim around there. And I think it sinks in really easily. So... I think I'm done bleeding here. I want to show you guys one more time. I don't want to bleed on my cake, so let's keep my thumb out of there. Let's see if I can do this without stabbing myself. So I'm barely holding on to the cake. Just put a little bit of a little bit of pressure on this. And it's just just sinking in so easy. So whatever they say on the description of the website, it's fairly well true. It breaks up pretty easily. Um, yeah, really easy. Just digging right in. Let's see if I can just take a big chunk off. No issues whatsoever. So yeah, that's it. The Bing Slayer. It works great. Um, less chance of stabbing yourself, it seems. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I soaked it with enough, uh, paper towel that I, I, I clotted the blood. So, uh, other than that, you know, this pick here, it, it served me well for a really long time. Um, before I got this, I used forks and steak knives and stuff like that. Never ever stabbed myself. But, uh, yeah, I definitely, I think I'm going to like this one. I do notice that there is some kind of, a. Uh, there's a bend in the in the wood. I don't know if you can notice that. Looks weird. Looks like it's gonna break or something. Maybe it's uh maybe it was just the stick that was used to carve down. Oh, there's a knot there. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it. Can't really see the grain of the wood in the video. No, you can't. But it looks like there's a knot there, and it just kind of twists the whole thing so yeah this is wood this is metal and yeah that looks pretty uh pretty damn shook them i would hate to stab myself with this one because it's a lot sharper on the end like this is uh this thing's pretty deadly so uh yeah uh i'm gonna review the gong fu to go on my next video and i'll brew up some tea with it and uh yeah anyways i'll catch you later thanks for watching um if you liked the video, you can press the like button. Um, if you liked it a lot, you can press the subscribe button. Or not. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoy the videos, watch them. If you don't like them, then don't watch them. Uh, thanks for watching. Or not. <laughs> Bye.